Hey everybody, and welcome to Zero Calvin. I recently released a video about easily adding a computer-generated voice to iClone characters by using the Replica Studios plugin. But what if you have a real voice already recorded and just want to add it to your character with some lip syncing? Luckily, that is just as simple and does not require any plugins. Here's how to do it. The first thing you're going to do is load up a handsome character into iClone. I picked the Brian model because I think it's the most handsome of all my characters. For the sake of simplicity, I've already loaded in some idle motion to my character and set up my camera views also. Now we can add the voice. There's two different ways of adding voice into iClone. The first and simplest but the crudest method is just to take your audio file and drag and drop it onto the character. It will then ask whether it's voice or sound. We select voice and click apply. And that's it. It adds the audio file and does some rudimentary lip syncing. And if we press play, we can watch the how crude the lips really are. Hey everybody and welcome to Zero Calvin. I recently released a video about easily adding a computer generated voice to iClone characters by using the Replica Studios plugin. But what if you have a real voice already recorded and just want to add it? You get the point. That's not really that great. So I'm just going to hit Control Z, go back, and we'll try it again. The second and more preferable way of adding voice is through Aculips. So to get to that, you're going to go to your Motion tab, your Animation tab, and you're going to go down to Create Script. So you click on that, and what we essentially just did was this version here where we're just loading in an audio file. But now instead we're going to choose Aculips. From the Aculips window, we're going to open an audio file. You'll notice the audio file can be in WAV, MP3, M4A, AAC, or WMA. If you don't have a script file, you can generate it here. This will help the accuracy of the Aculips uh, because it'll match up the voice with the actual text so that the computer knows better how to apply the visemes. As you can see, it does okay with the script, but it's not perfect. Um, it thinks I'm Euro Calvin and it's heh everybody and things like that. So, um, you know, you might have to spend a little time cleaning that up. Um, for me, I actually have the script written out already. So I'm just going to copy and paste it here. And then click Align. Perfect. And if we play this, you can see that the uh, words are lined up with the voice. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Zero Calvin. I recently released a video about easy. So if it looks and sounds good to you, we can click Apply. Now, hopefully, our lip syncing is much better. Let's check it out. Hey, everybody, and welcome to Zero Calvin. I recently released a video about easily adding a computer generated voice to iClone characters by using the Replica Studios plugin. But what if you have a real voice already recorded and just want to add it to... Okay, to me that looks a little exaggerated still, so I'm going to go over to here with uh, Visim Strength and I'm going to turn it down. So let's just turn it down to say 70. And we'll play with that a little until it looks a little more natural. Hey everybody, and welcome to Zero Calvin. I recently released a video about easily adding a computer-generated voice to iClone characters by using the Replica Studios plugin. But what if you have a real voice already recorded and just want to add it to your character with some lip syncing? Luckily, that is just as simple and does not require any plugins. Here's how to do it. And that's it. It's really that simple. All we have to do is add some facial animation to this and it'll be golden. So hopefully you enjoyed that and you learned something. Uh, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Hi. Um, if you liked this video, then maybe you could support the channel on Patreon. That would be really cool. That's it.